Hi, Larry Kingston here, former Black Stars player and now the U17 assistant coach of Ghana. Um, today I would like to talk a little bit about the European tournament that we had, the U17s. I would like to talk a little bit about the preparation, uh, the sources, the challenges and all that today. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Our preparation uh, towards the tournament in Europe, a four nation tournament, the VFA four nation tournament uh, between Ghana, um, Serbia, Spain and Switzerland. Um, this is the preparation that we had. Um, Ghana, the sporting directorate um, employ all the regional scouts to go all over the regions to bring 10 players from each region to come together and to come. So through that, that's when um, uh, myself and the technical team, we, 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 we came together and then had a plan for us to pick the core of the team that went to the tournament. Uh, they brought over 200 players to camp. Uh, we put them in, in, in groups and then they play among themselves for us to see, pick the best out of them. After that, then we invite three teams from outside to come and play the teams, the players that we've picked. After playing against the away team, that's what will give us a fair idea about the best among the badge that came. We had about four badges that gave us that gave us to over 200 players from all over the country. Um, the second phase, we, we, we had about 40 players. Uh, we took them through the same exercises, playing games, um, and then through that we, we took the core of the team, which is uh, 20 players to travel to Serbia to represent the country. And for me, I will say they represent the country very, very well. You know, uh, we the coaches, we had a, a, a training plan. We had a training pl plan for for all of them. Uh, in the morning, we will do a collective group training, um, and then we pick one theme, and then the formation that we're looking at our theme uh, can be building up from the back, which will be primary focus and then uh, 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 pressing from the front, which will be, will be the secondary focus. And then, and then, and then the formation that we, we, we use, we use two formations. We use the first uh, formation for right, our system for us is 4-3-3. And then our second uh, system uh, is 3-5-2. So through that, that will guide us for us to have an idea, plan a section, uh, to go and deliver the session uh, to the playing body. And I think, trust me, I, the players did very well. They responded to it very well. Before going on the pitch, we'll have time to do video sessions, uh, uh, video meetings before going on the pitch for us, for them to have clear idea about what we're going to work on that day. We did that in the morning. And then in the afternoons, we, 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 do, um, we did uh, position specific. Uh, position specific is something that um, coaches will sit down again, plan a session about yes, the, the defenders. We did that in, on Mondays is for uh, defenders, on Tuesdays um, are for midfielders, and then Wednesday are for um, attackers. So we did that for seven to eight weeks throughout the campaign and then every week we play one game, one friendly game for us. So before going into the main tournament, we had three friendly games back home before go playing our first game against Serbia in, 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 in the main tournament. Against Serbia, the, the kids uh, stood up very well. Um, they make sure uh, they play their best and we had a, a, a very solid uh, we were successful in the, in the games, you know, they apply everything uh, that we're being taught. And at the end of the day, we had 
very good tournament and we were crowned champions. Yes, so now we, we, we're going to talk about the squad. The squad itself, the team that made the, the players that made the squad uh, are from all over the region. You know, we have players from Eastern region, uh, Northern region, um, Greater Accra, all, all, all the regions that we have in the, in the country. And when you, when you talk about the, the, the main squad, the main mindset of each and every player, you can see that uh, everyone has his strength, uh, but it's, it's up to our, the, the technical team to make sure bring them together to form that, that, that team. Uh, looking at all the boys, um, they are well trained and they responded to, um, they responded to the, all the sessions that we took them through. And I must say, uh, they are one of the best squads I've ever trained since I, I started coaching. Uh, the reason why I say that is they take in information very well. You teach them something today and then uh, uh, tomorrow you're asking them questions about that and they can uh, respond to it very well. Uh, one amazing thing about the squad is uh, most of the times when we are doing uh, video sections and all that, I try to engage them a lot. I try to, 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 to allow them to come in and then share their views. Sometimes I, I allow them to come and express themselves about the, the topic that we are working on. So uh, for me, I think it's a plus uh, for the whole squad and for them taking in information is amazing. So that's the one key thing that helped uh, the playing body and then also the technical team to achieve success. Where I'm sitting, I, I, I must say there is no success without challenges. Of course, we had a lot of challenges. Uh, talking about um, the training schedule, uh, sometimes we have to, um, because the, where we camp in, we have full house, uh, sometimes we have, the players have to wake up uh, 5 a.m. for us to start training at 6 to be able to finish early so that other national teams can use the pitch as well. So uh, it's one of the key challenges that we, we, we went through, uh, but the players responded very well. The players and the technical team responded very well. They were always um, on, on time. Um, when we, we talk about another challenges too, uh, I quite remember most of them are not well exposed uh, in front of a, a big stadium. Uh, when I, when I proposed to the management that we wanted to play our games back in, uh, down in Accra, in our big stadium, Accra Sports Stadium, uh, the management uh, took it well and they, they arranged for us to play our last three games at the Accra Sports Stadium. I remember our first game over there, for me, I think uh, it was a huge challenge for them. They were G3, first 10, 15 minutes, but with time they, they, they faced their fear and then after that, they, they were okay. Our second game was very good, smooth. Our third game was top. So uh, we get into uh, Serbia and, and finding very good pitches. They were not, uh, they, they did not have problem at all. So uh, it's also a challenge from the beginning. Uh, traveling to Serbia, uh, almost the squad, the playing body, almost all of them is their first time traveling to Europe. First time uh, being on the, uh, traveling with a flight. So uh, that, that side uh, was very tough for them. And also most of them, they've not experienced cold like that. <laughs> the freezing weather in Serbia that they met uh, was a huge uh, challenge for them. And integrating uh, to adjust, get used to the weather too, was very tough. I quite remember when we got there, our first uh, day in Serbia, our first training session, I can see the first 20 minutes in the section, almost all of them couldn't. They couldn't stand the, the, the cold and the, the, the intensity of the session dropped tremendously. The technical team keep motivating them, pushing them to the limit. After 20 minutes, they got used to it and then the, the, the session started flowing. And we, we all testified that in our first game against Serbia, we, we, we adjust to the conditions very well. That's how come first 45 minutes we, we were leading 4-0 already. So I think they had the challenges, but the credit goes to the, the, the playing body. They took it very well. They faced it very well, and then they came out 
very, very well. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day we can say that everyone was happy about how they dealt with the challenges. We, if I'm, I'm going to talk about success, uh, for me, I think uh, it's too early to say, oh, we are successful. It's too early. We still have a lot to do. Um, but now we have to enjoy this success. And uh, success doesn't come easy. I think you have to put in work. And for me, the technical team and uh, the playing body put in work for them to have this, this success in, in, in the tournament. I must say, all the three games were, was very, were very tough. Uh, looking at Serbia, uh, European club, well respected. They have uh, top players all over the world. Uh, you can see that their youth development is top notch. Uh, different style of play, uh, but our style of play that we brought on board, I think worked perfectly against them. Uh, playing against the Spanish team, we all know their style of play. People have so much respect for them with their tiki-taka uh, style. Um, but uh, uh, the technical team, our game plan that we put up worked perfectly against them. You know, uh, We also wanted to play football. We try to close down all the spaces when they are on the ball so that they won't have space to play through us. Uh, if they have to play, they have to move the ball to their fullback before we, 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 we cage them on the side and then press them, win the ball, and then immediately we win the ball, we play forward. I think that one worked perfectly for us on, on, on that. Um, our last game, which is the final against Switzerland, uh, was very physical, uh, was very direct. Um, we, we noticed that they have two strikers, and the moment they win the ball, they play long ball in behind the opponent back line. So the game plan was to uh, uh, have a, find the line very high. Uh, our back line should have a body shape that who allow them to drop early to win the balls uh, be, behind them. Uh, and and uh, I, must, I, I must say we, we were successful in, in all that. Uh, our transition, offensive and defensive transition, was solid as well. Uh, in all our three games, worked perfectly for us. Uh, the advantage we took is we had the privilege to see all the three countries, their games, before we went into the game. Into the game. So for me, I think it helped the technical team to see uh, what are we going to meet and it's, uh, have a, add a game plan to, to, to tackle that and it, 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 it helped us uh, a, a lot. So in all, we will say we are happy, uh, but we put in a very good work for us to uh, get that uh, success. Yes, so uh, the way forward is going to be hard work. Uh, this crop of players, they've done very well. We are still going to keep them in, but um, the doors are still open to all Ghanaian players, uh, the management, the technical team. We, we don't stop looking for talent all over the country. Uh, whoever has seen a talent somewhere, you shouldn't hesitate to inform the technical team. We will find time to go and watch those players and bring them in and make sure they can meet the criteria that uh, the country and the technical team is looking for. We are all uh, trying to build a solid team for our mother Ghana and I urge everyone to come on board, support the technical team with everything you think you can support and the technical team is also ready to give any, everyone uh, a chance to come and try and if it meets the criteria, I guarantee you, he will make it to the squad and also have that fun that the current team is having. The current team, I wish them all the best of luck. We're not going to leave them. We're keeping them, we keep developing them. The future is the Black Stars. We're working slowly to get to the top. Working slowly for Ghana to have an unbeatable squad. And I don't think it's going to be easy. We, the technical team, we're going to put in work, but we're taking it a day at a time. Now I will talk for myself because, you know, that's my first time uh, being given the opportunity to lead uh, a national team. You know, I've worked with Right to Dream Academy for four years, uh, worked with uh, FC Nordland uh, for a year in, in Denmark. Uh, but this assignment gave me joy in my first experience with the national team. Everyone has to uh, uh, work for the national team, you know. So for me, given the opportunity to be able to work with these uh, unbelievable players, for me, I think it's, it's an achievement for me, it's a joy. Uh, and I'm looking forward to do more, more of that if, if I've been given uh, very more difficult uh, 
opportunities, more difficult assignment, I'm always ready to, 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 to be there. So I must say I'm grateful. I'm grateful, I'm grateful, and I'm looking forward uh, for more challenges. I enjoyed it, and I want to go and do more for our mother Ghana. Also, I must say, um, all the people in the te technical team, they put in work, uh, and trust me, I enjoy working with them. Uh, I think everyone uh, put in good work, very good work, uh, to their maximum best. Uh, that shows uh, we are a team, and you can see that reflect on the team's performance. So uh, we continue working as a team, and trust me, I enjoy working around them. You know. So thank you, thank you so much for giving your maximum best.